Hello interwebs, welcome to Let's Fix Computers. Uh, we're doing a voiceover intro to this today because when I started on this laptop, I didn't have my microphone with me. Anyway, uh, we've got a little Asus netbook here which has a busted power jack. It's all burnt up and it started melting down the side of the laptop and everything. So uh, the first thing we're gonna do is go into fast forwardy bits and strip out the motherboard on this thing and we'll take a look at it. So as you can see, this thing is all funked up. We've had a, uh, a hard short circuit at some point and it's just melted the inside of the jack. So uh, this dude's gotta come off. Then we'll clean up the board, stick a new jack on and it should be absolutely fine. So the old jack is off and I'm going to try and clean up the board. So first I'm going to put on some fresh solder just to mix into the nasty lead free stuff and just generally clean up the area and then we're going to wick it all away to clean the gunk off and also to try and clear the holes. Unfortunately the anchor holes on this thing are really small so despite a lot of effort I wasn't actually able to clear them. However thankfully because I'm using hot air to change this jack that's not the end of the world we can just melt the solder as the new jack goes in. Now with that out of the way, we can put the laptop back together. So we're gonna put a little bit of uh, thermal compound onto those pads that I've messed up slightly, and then we're going to put everything back into place. So hopefully it'll be that simple. Uh, okay, so uh, the new charger for this little dude showed up um, and I plugged it in and uh, it might have started smoking. And by might have, I mean it did start smoking, which is exactly what happened to the old one. So it would appear that there is some kind of short circuit in this thing. And in hindsight, I probably should have checked for that uh, after I fitted the new charger jack, because sometimes you've got to look at a fault and ask yourself, why did this fault happen in the first place? So um, we're gonna take a look and check if there's a short circuit on the DC jack, because that's gonna be a bit of a problem. So firstly, let's probe out these, um, uh, these points and find out what the pin out is. So let's just go to continuity mode and let's go ground, ground check, BB. Okay, ground. Ground, ground, ground. So those are the anchor points. We expect them to be ground. Oh wow, yeah, the whole thing is shorted out. Okay, so is that bridged or internally shorted? Um, 
All right, I'm gonna have a very close peer at this first. Did I bridge those solder joints? Oh, that could be. Let's just touch up them joints. All right, I just touched up that connection there. So there's definitely no bridges there by any stretch of the imagination, but we're still all shorted to ground. So my guess is uh, this positive bit in here is internally shorted in the circuit board. So that connector has got to come back off. Okay, so we're obviously working with no schematics here. This is a poxy little netbook thing. So um, we're gonna have to see what we can do. So here is our problem. Uh, if I put one probe on ground, here's a ground test, there's our beep. So these points are all ground. Now here's our main uh, VCC pin, that's our positive power pin, and that guy's shorted to ground as well. So if we follow this along, it comes up here to this section, and we've got a capacitor crossing to ground, and then we've got these dudes here who cross over to this area here as well. So following common sense board logic, um, this here will be a, a MOSFET or a pair of MOSFETs that are controlled by this chip here and that will be switching the power supply into the main circuit board. Then this will be a bridge point that goes off to the rest of the board and those two little traces there, that will then be current sensing, which in turn goes back to this chip so this chip can see what is happening. So that would be the common sense logic. Now I notice that if we do some probing and follow this upwards, so beep, 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 and all of this is all shorted out. However, on the other side, we're not shorted out anymore. So that would seem to suggest that this guy is staying in the off position, which is how it should. So past this point, we're not shorted to ground anymore. Um, so my guess, therefore, is that our short circuit is gonna be buried in the circuit board up here, where that burn mark is. Um, so we possibly need to dig that short out or we need to disconnect this area. So what I'm kind of tempted to do is to scratch through here and just disconnect that trace from the burn mark. So if we possibly scratch through, the problem is we've got a, a via there and I don't know where that goes to. Um, so we might just have to go no guts, no glory on this and just cut cut across there and see if that cuts off our short circuit. And if it does, we can then poke the DC pin out and just run a wire to it and just jump over the short. So let's try that and see if that gets us anywhere because yeah, no guts, no glory. Right, so there's no longer continuity across that bridge anymore. And, ground, 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 no longer grounded. Yep, so that's confirmed. Our short is in there. We've just cut off from the rest of the board. So now all we have to do is uh, run a wire to the back of the DC jack so it jumps over the short circuit. So here's our DC jack, we need to modify that. We need to get the center pin out from there. And 
continuity check. No shorts. Ground okay. Yeah. All right. That flying flying pin is working for us. We'll just flip the board over and touch up the bottom of those joints. Okay, right, excuse the gratuitous amount of flux there, I just changed over my flux syringe and it's purged out a load of new stuff. Right, let's get our flying pin tinned up. Right, and this wire is a bit too big, but it's all I got that will do the job. Solder blob down there. Ah, there we go. I was trying to retain the um, uh, the sheath on the wire there, just to give it a bit of protection, but that will do. Right, let's do some checking. Good. So we've got ground where there's supposed to be ground and no ground on the live side. I'm happy with that. Let's give it a bit of alcohol. Okay. And I think that bad boy is ready to fire up. How's that for a flying live? Right, let's do our ground check one more time. Right, so this is going to be short, we're expecting it to be. However, we should find that our live stuff isn't shorted. So that looks good, that looks promising. All right, let's put some screws in that. Okay, here we go. No smoke. Do we have a light? I love it. 
love everything about it. That's probably flashing because the battery's not connected. I think we're safe to try and start this thing up. All right, so the screws are in. Let's see if we can go for a power up. Oop, charge light. All right, it's doing something. Can we power on? Where's the power button on this top right? Okay. Okay, I don't think we've got enough. Oh no, it is trying to turn on. There we go. Hey boys. Whew. Let's flip that over so it's the right way up. Bam. Thank you very much for watching everyone. I will see you all next time. Goodbye for now.